What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and today we got ourselves some new, pretty hype dinosaur support. I mean, honestly, it's not that hype, it's uh, pretty mediocre in my opinion. And so, uh, what we got ourselves here are three new cards, uh, from my knowledge. Um, a monster and two spell cards. So, uh, first off, the monster is called Giant Rex, it's a level 4 earth dinosaur, 2000 attack, 1200 defense, you can probably see all this already. And uh, it has two effects. So the first effect is uh, it cannot attack directly. So it's level 4 with 2,000, so I, I guess it's fair that it can't attack directly. And uh, the second effect is if this card is banished, you can special summon this card, but it gains 200 attack for each of your currently banished dinosaur-type monsters. So uh, this is definitely something interesting um, because uh, we all know how miscellaneous source works and we all know how Ultimate Conducting Tyranno works, they both banish to either, to summon out, you know, uh, in Ultimate Conducting Tyranno's case itself, or Miscellaneousaurus's case, um, another dinosaur. So, uh, if you're banishing four from your graveyard to activate Miscellaneousaurus, it's such a tongue twister name, um, and then you special summon the level four dinosaur from your deck, uh, this guy activates, and uh, he special summons himself as well. And uh, the best part being is that um, since you can play multiple copies of these, you know, like, uh, although it's only once per turn, um, you can, like, keep one in your graveyard for the next turn if you get another miscellaneous source in grave for the next turn and then summon out another one. Uh, it's pretty nice. I, like, I would use it for an overlay rather than use it to attack, because more often than not, you're, you're gonna go into Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and just use his effect to put everything face down. And since Ultimate Conductor Tyranno clears the board pretty much, if this guy can't attack directly, he's not really all that useful. And so, he's more of useful for uh, overlaying for like Lagia or Dolka, rather than staying on the board for um, himself. So, next we have a, the first spell card, it's a normal spell, Space Time Transcendence. And you banish two or more dinosaur type monsters from your graveyard. Special summon one dinosaur type monster with the same level as the number of monsters banished from your hand or graveyard, but it cannot attack this turn. Wait, wait. It says banish two or more dinosaur type monsters from your graveyard. Special summon one monster with the same level as the number of monsters you banish. Oh, from your hand or graveyard. I thought it said uh, that you banish from your hand or graveyard, but special summon a monster equal uh, with. A same number as you banish. So it's kind of like a miscellaneous source except um, a spell card and the monster can attack either. Uh, it pretty much just does this like it's pretty much just a miscellaneous source. That's <laughs> that's all it is. It's just miscellaneous source is a graveyard effect. Um, but it summons from the hand or graveyard and not from the deck which honestly I don't think is too necessary. Um, for me, uh, as far as I play tested a dinosaur so far, um, usually uh, I like to use my resources from the deck and not really from the hand of graveyard. Um, usually, the graveyard I just keep stacked for miscellaneous or no, not for miscellaneous for Ovi Raptor and for um, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. I don't like to touch my dinosaurs in grave unless I really have to. And uh, the ones in hand, uh, I guess the hand could clog, but usually you use them for Ligosagum. Uh, the true king, so um, it's not really that much of a big deal to have uh, quite a few dinosaurs in hand usually. So uh, honestly, I I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use this card. Me, I'm uh, probably gonna use like one, two at most, but definitely not three. Um, I I really don't think it's that useful, but it can definitely um, like if miscellaneous source ever gets like limited or something, or if, if the deck ever gets hit hard, like this support could definitely help the deck. So the third card is Ultimate Evolution Pill. It's a normal spell card, and uh, it's a uh, you can only activate one card. Uh, you know you can activate this card once per turn. So uh, you banish one dinosaur type monster, or one non dinosaur type monster from your hand or graveyard, and special one level seven or higher dinosaur type monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So this is kind of what I like to see, um, since uh, this is. 
something that is more of pretty like more on the broken side rather than something like okay because this is something that like let's say you have like a laggy engrave or something um although it, it only banishes from your hand or graveyard so you may not be able to use it all the time um if you have like the the, the true king in your graveyard um you can use it for, uh, with this and uh it just brings out a free um ultimate conductor tyranno now, there are other dinosaurs you could bring out, but none of them are as good as Ultimate Conducting Tyranno. I think that's the only reason you would even play this card. And so, it definitely is a good at least two of. Um, you could only play one, but it's it, it definitely does uh, speed up your deck a bit because you don't have to banish two from grave, like two dinosaurs from grave. So, if you have a miscellaneous source and you have like a true king in graveyard, um, you, you won't have to worry about um, how many materials or how many monsters you need to banish from miscellaneous source because you have the true king and you have uh, this card in your hand so this card lets you use one less monster uh for uh well basically one less dinosaur for summoning ultimate ultimate conductor tyranno which uh makes it pretty good um honestly this support, uh, Giant Rex is okay. Uh, I, it, it's pretty much more that it's a level 4 dinosaur. It's just another level 4 dinosaur that we can use. So that's that's always uh, welcome. Uh, Space Time Transcendence, it's alright. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use it, but uh, I do see a lot of people using it because it does help with uh, Miscellaneous Source. I'm probably only going to use it if Miscellaneous Source gets limited or banned, like I said earlier. And uh, Ultimate Evolution Pill, again... Um, and, you know, let me just go back to that for a second. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to get banned, but in case it does, in case it does, I would use this card. And uh, Ultimate Evolution Pill, uh, banish, uh, banishing dinosaurs and a non-dinosaur, pretty much the true king, because that's the only non-dinosaur you're going to play main deck. If Lagia or um, one of your Synchro Monsters hits, hits the graveyard, like if you went into Trish or something, um, that would be... That would be another target that you could use, but mo most of the time you're probably going to use a True King. Um, so, um, th this is definitely going to be helpful. Uh, we don't know when this uh, when these three cards are coming to the TCG. I don't think we need them. Uh, I don't think dinosaurs need them right now, honestly. Like, this is, a, this is definitely we could say for a future. Like, maybe if there's like a ban list or something... Or maybe like during link format or something like this. This could be uh, a lot better. But for right now, it's not really necessary. So uh, this was Nistro here, guys. Uh, just giving you guys some more uh, insight on uh, what I think this dinosaur type uh, support will uh, do for the deck. And um, honestly, we're probably not going to get this until like link format. But even then, uh, I don't think it's that bad of support. So. Um, I'm going to see you guys later. This was Nisha here. Peace.